This show has been brought to you by SacredApparel.net. The homie Twink and the crew over there are always coming up with the latest fashions. The tees, the hoodies, and the hats. Right now, they got a store-wide sale going on. Everything 20% off. This would be a great time to pick up a hoodie. Everything 40% off. Regular price $40. Now they $25 a hoodie. And the dope thing that I like about Sacred Apparel, they got tees for the big home. So go check them out. SacredApparel.net. A clothing store for the ladies and gentlemen that choose to live sacred. You dig? Are you a producer or artist that is lacking confidence in your music? Well, now you can get your music critiqued by our industry vet. The Amazing Beat Critique by Producer Vet, The Amazing SB. Get your one-on-one video consultation via Skype or FaceTime. Submit three beats or three songs, and he will provide feedback and any questions that you may have pertaining to your music or the industry. So contact The Amazing SB today at AmazingBeatCritique at gmail.com. Again, that's AmazingBeatCritique at gmail.com. Contact him and book your session today. You are listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast, the podcast that's strictly for producers. Yo, this is Cephas. And you're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast with my homie Marv. Keep it locked. Yo, 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 what up? This your boy, Ma from Beats. like to welcome you to the Show Lab Producer Podcast on this Tuesday afternoon. How y'all doing today in Producerville, huh? Hope you're enjoying yourself. Somebody, you, you're somewhere maybe at the job or you're at the house making beats or whatever you're doing. I hope you're having a great day today. Uh, we got a dope show com- coming up today, man. We got a dope show that we have in today. We are talking about mobile production. Uh, we're talking about, uh, you know, the stuff that you use outside of your studio, the stuff that you travel with. Uh, mainly, we're going to be talking about uh, Beatmaker 2, the Beatmaker 2 app, something that I use. Uh, uh, I'm a devout user of the app. And... Um, it's a real dope program, man. I mean, I, if you're not familiar with it, uh, it is an app uh, that's for uh, Apple. It's an Apple product, and you know, it's, I have it on my iPad, uh, two of my iPad Mini. And man, it is a great tool. I'm so to the point now that uh, that's all I use when I'm traveling. When I go out of town, or if I'm on the go, or I bring my, I just bring my iPad with me. I don't care if I'm going to the store with my wife. If I'm sitting in the car, man, I can just, you know, pull it out and just not come up with ideas, but produce full fledged songs. I have landed major placements uh, with joints off my iPad. And if I didn't tell people I was using an iPad, they wouldn't even know. So, um, yeah, we're talking about mobile production, mainly Beatmaker 2 um, that we're going to be talking about. And I'm going to have my man Stan the Man uh, on the show in a little bit. He is a producer from out of New York, and uh, he's an avid user of the product as well. Actually, uh, he just did this thing over at uh, MachineMasters.com. Shout out to my homeboy, AG and Billy Blast. Uh, he did this thing called On The Spot, and uh, he used the Beatmaker 2 on the um on the show man and it really has been picking up steam people talking about it um some negative but i guess as people are going back looking at the video and people more talking about it is turning more into a positive thing you know what i'm saying and stan is a good is a friend of mine and i was telling him i said man i said you like the indian that has to go over the hill first and get take the hit to give everybody else the courage to be able to say, hey, man, this thing is not that bad. Let this, It's not that bad. Let me take this uh, ride over the hill, too. You know what I'm saying? So uh, he's the he, he's the guy that's uh, that had to take the hit, oh, if for the lack of better words. But now people are starting to look at the program in a different light and it's been out for a while it's been out for a couple for some years but now it look like it's taking uh it's taking off man so we're going to talk to my man stand the man in a little bit and uh yeah we're gonna have a good show but you know i, I got to start off with the scriptures the scripture for the day and it's coming from let's see here 
if I can get my phone to pull up. Uh, First Timothy. First Timothy chapter one, verse 15. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all exception that Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners whom I am chief. And that was Paul talking. Um, that was Paul speaking and he was saying, hey, man, point blank. Jesus came into the world. He came. He, he died on the cross to, to be able to save the world. You know what I'm saying? It was a sinners. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, we live in a society where, you know, people don't. Uh, you, you got atheists. You got all these different religions and stuff. But the Bible says that Jesus said that I'm the way, the truth and the light. Any man come through me, any man that come to the Father, they got to come through me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, John 3.16 said, For God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son to die for us. So that's what Jesus purpose. That was his main job, to come on this earth to try to save this dying world. And for those that would receive him, they would have eternal life. So just an encouraging word, man, just to, to, to put some... To paint a picture on who Jesus is, you know what I'm saying, being the son of God and the task that he had uh, set out for him. So, yeah, that's the encouraging word for the day. First one, I mean, first Timothy chapter one, verse 15. Uh, this show has been brought to you by sacred dot net uh, by my home for my homeboy Twink. And his team over there, they got some new product coming out. They got the uh, the Dove uh, t-shirts I seen on uh, on the page this morning, man. You got a nice uh, t-shirt that it came out. So go check them out over at sacredapparel.net. And you're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast where we talk about nothing but producer stuff. You dig? You're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast where we talk about nothing but producer stuff. You dig? To the most Listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast, the podcast that's strictly for producers. Yo, this your man K Drama, and you're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast with my homie Mama Ma- 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 Beats, baby. Yeah.
You're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast, where we talk about nothing but producer stuff. You dig? Yes, sir. You're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast. I am your boy, Mar from More Beats. I was looking for this uh, list of uh, I want to send some shots out to some producers that made some uh, made some placements on Ishan Burgundy's uh, new album. Uh, I know one of them for sure is the homie uh, Dre knows uh, Dre Brown. Uh, he's down with uh, So uh, Sound H. Um, Production team, so man, I wanted to send them a quick shout out, man. It's uh, it's dope to see these young boys getting it in. You know what I'm saying, making an impact. You know what I'm saying, being able to uh, just you know, uh, you know, see their dreams, uh, aspirations, or whatever you may want to call it, come true, man. So definitely want to send a shout out to all the producers. I think my homeboy Joshua Heath. Uh, he made he made the album as well. So I uh, just want to get a young boy some love, man, uh, and let them know that people are listening. Keep up the good work, man, and, uh, you know, keep doing your thing. Keep working hard. And, I mean, that's just the, that's just the simple word. Keep working hard, man. And if you keep working hard, man, you'll see us. Uh, uh, Things start to turn around. God has started to open up some doors for you. So yeah, man. Uh, wanted to send some shots out to them. Uh, want to send a shout out to my homeboy Anthony Clary, uh, Rock House Productions. My homeboy Diamond Tracks, Kenneth Diamond, Acreage. Want to send some shots out to him to them. My homeboy Doc uh, Jerome Michener uh, from out of NY. Uh, want to send a shout out to my homeboy SB, the amazing SB. Uh, from uh, I Stand It uh, He's a good friend of mine um, Man That's a great segue as I was talking about SB This weekend I am going down to Dallas to the B Camp Dallas B Camp uh, At the um, Let me pull up the fly here Dallas B Camp is going to be At uh, the Media Tech Center The Media Tech Institute out in Dallas, Texas. That's 33, 3300 Branch View Drive, Dallas, Texas. Uh, they have open door on Friday, which is a free event. Uh, you can come in, you know, all the producers that's in the Fort Worth, Dallas, or even just in the, uh, you know, in the, in the Texas area that want to come through, man. Definitely a uh, place to be to network. I'm going down there uh, on Friday and be down there for the weekend uh, just to get it in with the homie Jay Hatch uh, and, uh, you know, some, some other producers, Jay Rhodes, uh, Malix, uh, who else is going to be down there that I know? My homeboy, John, uh, a.k.a. The Kraken. So, you know, it's going to be good to get over with those brothers, go down there and network and build and, you know, just, um, you know, um, build this whole camaraderie. Uh, for for producers so that's this weekend the 20th through the 22nd b camp dallas if you're in the media area uh come through tickets are still available if you go to iStandards.com you can go uh go search b camp dallas they pro- i think they even got it on the front page or if you're familiar with me on instagram just go to my instagram page i've been uh re, re- uh reposting it 
um you know if you're interested you want in area you're listening man uh please go purchase a ticket it's a great opportunity to just meet other producers uh you know a network and you know i think it's just dope when producers you know can get together and just you know get energy you know and just you know be able to learn from what some uh, learn something from somebody else i mean everybody's learning from one another so yeah be camp dallas this weekend baby uh it's going down uh what else what else what else what else what else i want to mention um yeah what else i want to mention i want to mention something else pertaining to that um I can't think If I think of it I come back to it But anyway In a few minutes I'm going to have my homeboy Stand the man on the show man And we're going to be talking about The Beat Maker app You know um, For those that may not be familiar with it It is a mobile app For Apple products Well mainly Your iPods Your iPhones Your iPads Uh, They don't have Like a desktop joint I guess that's why they call it a mobile app <laughs> Anyway, we're talking about it today, man And, uh, man, I'm telling you I love the program I, I stand totally, totally 100% behind this product They're actually working on a, a Beatmaker 3 uh, It should be coming out um, I don't know, they ain't telling us nothing, man I hope the people over at Beatmaker are listening to the show uh, You know, so they can... Uh, let a, let us know what's happening uh, with the uh, the new product. But anyway, we're talking about Beatmaker Two. We're talking about the capabilities, the compatibilities uh, of the software. Um, I mean, it's literally a doll in your. I mean, in the palm of your hands. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can. I open up other apps. You know, and open the mugs up like VSTs inside the program and stuff. Man, it's just. The, the options are uh, limitless, you know what I'm saying, what you can do uh, with this program and stuff. So we're going to get into it in about mm, about two minutes, and uh, we're going to have my man stand on, and we're going to get into it. You're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast, where we talk about nothing but producer stuff. You're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast, where we talk about nothing but producer stuff. You dig?
You're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast, where we talk about nothing but producer stuff. You dig? Are you a producer or artist that is lacking confidence in your music? Well, now you can get your music critiqued by our industry vet. The Amazing Beat Critique by Producer Vet, The Amazing SB. Get your one-on-one video consultation via Skype or FaceTime. Submit three beats or three songs, and he will provide feedback and any questions that you may have pertaining to your music or the industry. So contact The Amazing SB today at AmazingBeatCritique at gmail.com. Again, that's AmazingBeatCritique at gmail.com. Contact him and book your session today. Are you looking for those heavy trap bangers? Then you definitely need to holler at Rock House Music, specialized and known for those bending 808. You may have heard his recent work on K Drama's The Eight Out. So if that's the sound you're going for, holler at my man Anthony over at Rock House Music. You can check out his beats on SoundCloud at www.soundcloud.com slash I am Rock House. Again, that's www.soundcloud.com slash I am Rock House. Rock House Music, home of the bending 808. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you working on a project and you're looking for your next banger? Well, check out the team over at SoundHBeats.com. Looking for a variety of production? Well, the homie Ray and the crew over there can take care of all of your musical needs. They got exclusives, leases, and they got a clearance sale over there. Are your artists on a budget? Well, now they are offering bulk discount prices on their lease beats. So what you waiting on? Head on over to SoundHBeats.com and pick up your banger today. Christian music, all heart, SoundHBeats.com. Yo, this is the amazing SB, and you're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast with my homie, Marv. Make sure you're tuned in to TheAmazingSB.com. You are listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast, the podcast that's strictly for producers. Yo, 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 what up? This your boy, Marv from Beats. Like to welcome you guys again to the Show Lab Producer Podcast, where we talk about nothing but producer stuff, you dig? I am honored to have my homeboy, Stan, uh, Stan the Man. He's a, a fellow uh, beat maker. Uh, one thing that we do have in common, we both use uh, beat, the Beat Maker 2 app. So, uh, as, as I said earlier, this, this, this interview is going to be strictly about mobile production, and I would like to welcome my guy... To the show. What up, Stan? What up, Ma? What's going on, brother? Man, I'm well, man. How you doing today, bro? Same here. God bless. No doubt, man. Well, man, real quick, man. I just, I like I said in the introduction, man. Uh, we are talking about uh, mobile production and stuff, man, and just the how technology has changed and made it, uh, and made it feasible and made it, uh, and and and, and uh, I guess for the lack of better words made it uh, uh, accessible to use, you know, on the go, you know what I'm saying? You literally don't have to be sitting in front of a, in front of a, a NPC or a, a machine these days, you know what I'm saying? You can just go on your iPad, man. So before we get into it, man, I just want you to introduce yourself to the, to the listeners, man. Tell them who you are, what you do, and all that good stuff. What up, guys? My name is Stan the Man from Brooklyn. Producer, I have produced for Source Money, a lot of DJ K Slay mixtapes. I've done a straight stunt in um, Chronicles um, movies. I've done something for Stro, Paul Kane, that fabulous brother. I have um, done a, a few things, and I'm definitely honored to work with Beatmaker 2. And that's what I'm using now to do what I have to do. No doubt, man. No doubt, man. So, uh, speaking of Beatmaker 2, man, how did you even. Uh, get introduced. Uh, uh, how did you get started on Beatmaker Two? How did it? How did you just like one day said, "Boom, let me check this app out." How did that whole story? Be- that whole story begin, bro. Uh, funny, funny story. Okay, my dad passed away. Right. And what had happened? That was five. That was five years ago. My dad passed away, and we was having some friends at the house, and my homeboy was showing me, "Yo, I do beats on my phone." And this is what I'm doing. And at the time, Beatmaker 2 wasn't out. It was Beatmaker 1 was out. And I was like flabbergasted because I was like, wow, you can do this on your phone. And I was like, wow. So 
I didn't really have an iPhone at the time. Uh huh. And it's so funny, my wife surprised me with an iPhone on Valentine's Day. Okay. As <laughs> soon as I got that phone. Right. As soon as I got that phone, I got um, Beat Maker on one. Tried it out, and then after like about a week, it comes Beat Maker 2. Wow. I, wow. I just upgraded real quick and got Beat Maker 2. And then I just started working with Beat Maker 2, just trying to finesse it, try to do what I have to do, little tricks of the trade. And now I'm still using it like it's like it's, you know, my first time. Wow. Wow. That's crazy, man. So uh, I guess when I when I first learned about Beatmaker, um, it was Beatmaker 2 point. It was 2 point uh, 2 point 4, I believe. Uh, what, what, what was what was what was was there any drastic difference from Beatmaker 1 to, to Beatmaker 2? What was some of the difference in it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was, a, it was a lot. It was that you couldn't drop a sample in it. It was just plainly really nothing. It didn't have too much of um, any um, sounds in it. It was just starting, I guess, they, they, they phased, you know, just starting phase. And then when they came out with Beat Maker 2, you could just drop samples in. You can um, do audio bus. It, uh-huh. it was, it's a lot. It's a lot you can do with two than you can do with one. Wow. That's what's up, man. So, um, so with, with Beat Maker 2... How long did it take you to actually, you know, get a hang of it? I mean, was it a learning curve with you? I mean, with it or what? Because, you know, it, now, it. I, I, let me say this. As a producer, I think whatever equipment you, whatever equipment that you're using, I think there's something that's that all of the machines may have in one com- uh, have in common. They have one thing in common, just to be able to press record and play. <laughs> and, and hit the pad. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the one common thing that it does have. Now, you know, uh, granted, you know what I'm saying, going from, you know, uh, MPC to software, you know, there's a learning curve, but we're talking about going from software to a mobile app. Was there a learning curve for you, bro? Yeah, it was a learning curve. It was a learning curve of how to um, slice up your samples, how to put everything together, arrange it, song uh-huh. mode, how to, you know, take the stems out and when you're in the um, studio to give it to the engineer so he can put it in there. Right. And it was a, it was a good process. It, I mean, it didn't take me that long. I, you know, got the hang of it, and I was very happy when I got the hang of it because it's like, it's like second nature to me now. Right, right. Wow. Well, I tell you what, man. Uh, I mean, I think that's the... the uh, <laughs> Beat Maker 2, bro, I mean, you know, from the time that, from the time, April made a year that I've been, like, consistently on Beat Maker. Every now and again, I go back to my logic and stuff, but the bulk of my production has been uh, off, of, off of my iPad. And, man, you know, I, I think in the very beginning, man, you know, and, 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 it, and maybe it's not, maybe it's just me, you know, for some reason, man, I was a little, prob- I was a little ashamed to say, you know, I was making beats on the iPad, man. But as the time went, <laughs> as time went on, bro, and then I went to, you know, I was some, you know, I went to, you know, making, you know, making major placements with this joint. I just said, you know what, man, you know what, I'm gonna let people know what I use and be intrigued about the technology uh, that we have in the palm of my hands, man. Did you ever go through that, bro? Were you ever a little shame, like ah? You know, you might people might have thought you wasn't. Oh, you were no, you're not a real producer. You making beats on your iPad. Did you ever go through that little phase? Nobody never, you know, told me that. But I felt that way. How you feeling at yeah. first? I'm, like, you know, because everybody's in the, you know, the NPC phase, and right. everybody is doing it, you know, fruity loops and stuff like that. So it's like, hmm, I tell people, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how they would react to it. Right. But now. I'd say that a lot of people is like, you know, astonished. Like, wow, you make that on your um your iPhone and iPad, right. and everybody give it up to me. And that's a and that's a beautiful feeling when people give it up to you. That you know you're doing a lot of hard work on something that you just take with you anywhere you want to go, and you ain't got to worry about carrying big items. Because say the truth, it's a funny story. I was doing Source of Money album, and what it was. I had a um, SP1200. Right. At a Kai S900. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> I had to go to the studio with this stuff. I loved like too big equipment to go in the studio. Right. Because back in the days, if you needed, you know, some um, um, machines, you had to rent it out. Right. And we wasn't right. trying to rent them out. So I had to lug it from all the way from Brooklyn on the train. And just like watch myself and be like, wow, I hope nobody don't knock <laughs> Hope nobody don't jack you. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I was just praying to God and, you know, and I got there and everything like that. With now, I could just take my iPhone and just, and my headphones and just go straight there. Don't have to worry about anybody knocking me in the head or having these big, you know, equipment and people seen on the train. So right. I feel very great as having that mobile situation and don't have to lug up too many things right and man it's funny how you said man like people be so intrigued you know i take you know I, you know i do my you know post my uh leviz on on instagram man but you'd be surprised you'd be surprised how many people are out there using beat maker but you'd be surprised how many people be like man you doing this on your ipad like they yeah. i mean they really and 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 not just Bing, bing, bing. I'm talking about making quality, quality joints. You know what I'm saying? Like dudes be like, "Yo, man." Uh, I had somebody hit me up on, on on Instagram today. Like, man, bro, I've been using this joint for about a year, but bro, you killing this mug. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's you know, and I'm you know, I'm to, I, I'm glad that you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, I'm, I'm I'm first of all, I love the app. You know what I'm saying? But I'm glad to be able to display. You know, um, and even yourself. I love going to your going to your site, checking out your stuff, man. Just to realize, just to let I mean, it's it's just a, a way of letting people know, man, it don't matter what you got. You know what I'm saying? It's what is 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 what the is what the good Lord and gave you create creativity creatively wise and just you know, having the diligence, man, you know, to, to uh to use it. Uh, real quick, man. Let, cool. Let's let's get into like the into the into the program. You know, what I'm saying we talked about audio buses and stuff. Oh, you. I mean, we t- you, we talked about the, uh, the different uh, auxiliary buses and all that. But are you doing? Are you using like audio bus and like linking it with other apps and stuff, or are you straight off the uh, beat maker too? Well, some here and there I do the audio bus. But um, I'm really strictly through the um the beat maker too, just strictly there. But yeah. I'm gonna try some stuff with that audio bus because it's a great tool just itself, just to you know combine beat maker two with a lot of um another another apps. Right. It's really, it's really cool. To yeah, be honest it, with you. It is, man. You know, it's like the rewiring. Even I mean, on your computer, you know, what I'm saying like uh, reasons. I started on reasons. Uh, uh, so you know they have the re the rewiring capability where it allows you to rewire to Cubase or Logic and stuff. So it is really dope, man. And it's all and it's set up to what you all you. I mean, it's like using other VSTs. Like I use the i Mini Move, I use the i Sim, uh, the i Profit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, IK Media. Uh, they got they got stuff that I use, man, for different pianos and stuff. So it is really cool, man, that you can bring in other apps into your work in into your workplace into your workstation man um real quick man uh yeah. w- with three now we all waiting on three to come out i hope i hope beat maker i hope the people <laughs> over at beat maker to uh, uh, over at beat maker listening to the show uh what are you expecting with this new app or what do you what do you hope that they have they that they have added to or whatever you know what i'm saying what are some of the things what are some of the things on your wish list uh that you waiting on for this app well it was uh beat maker 2 i had no problems only one thing they need to do for beat maker 3 is when you do song mode you could change it bpm you could change it from anything when you're doing your song mode like how mpc right does song mode they right. can change the bpm i wish they can do the same thing i you know definitely referred it to them and i hope they take that to you know consideration and do it because yeah. after that once they do that that's it the right. maker would not be stopped but they can't be stopped right now to tell you the truth but only that song mode right that's it that's all i ask right but everything everything is great 
Right. I think one of the things that I, I, I hope that they add to it, I hope they add a better uh, better time stretching capabilities. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Um, That's too. You know, right. uh, you know, I, I love using battery. I love using na- native instrument batteries. And what I like, what I like about that joint stand is like when I'm in battery and I got a sample, I can dump a Rex file. That's another thing. Whoo. I wish I hope I wish they would be able to intake Rex files because I can make Rex files on my computer and then dump those mugs into there. But anyway, I, I once I I can dump a sample into Beatmaker 2, right? I can time stretch each part. You know what I'm saying? So you cuz you know how sometimes when you got a sample, you know what I'm saying, the it it it, it the beat it is slow up and down, you know what I'm saying? But so yeah, exactly. one thing I like about battery is I can go in and set the and, and stress the tempo to I mean that it all just it all just gel. You know what I'm saying? So I'm hoping and wishing that would be a thing uh that they would uh be able to add they would add a better time stretching uh, situation to the joint, man. Um, uh, yeah. So, man, I, I tell you what, man, I am, uh, anticipating and waiting on three to come out, bro. Uh, I'm in, and, and again, man, Me too. and again, Brad, I'm just, you know, it's just something how, you know, the mobile technology is, you know, it to me is the way to go, bro. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to B camp Dallas next, uh, on the 21st, uh, Actually, uh, actually, this that, that Friday, that Friday I'm going on the 21st, and um, when I go out there, bro, I'm bringing my, I'm bringing my, I'm bringing my iPad, I'm bringing my joint, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna <laughs> hook up with my homeboys, Malik and all them. Shout out to my homeboy SB uh, for making the whole um, SB and J Hatch from over at iStanders for making the whole trip possible. But I'm, a, I'm gonna go out there, man. Yeah, shout out to them. Yeah, yeah, Some yeah. My peeps, SB. Yeah. I the whole I stand there because I did a showcase over there and right. they you know they loved it. Yeah, man. So I'm gonna go out there, bro, and I'm gonna show up. I'm gonna show off the uh, off the beat making app, man. Uh, another, let me ask you this, bro. Have you ever tried any other apps besides the beat maker two joint? Well, I got um IMPC Pro. Uh huh. Uh-huh. It's it's cool. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's a great thing too. If you wanna have that MPC. You know, look and everything. You want to do what you got to do, like a, I, a, I, um, NPC. You go on that. That's I, I re, um, you know, definitely recommend that too. If you love your um NPC, you can do it on um, mobile. Right. It's a great thing too. It's a it's a great thing. Those two, B Maker Two and I NPC Pro, are the better tools and the better apps for definitely for your um your iPhone. Right. Well, man, you know, I got I got the I NPC Pro too, man. But again, bro, uh, they, if for some reason, bro, it just cannot stand up to the Beatmaker Two joint. I mean, it got you know, it got some glitching in it, and maybe, and you know, maybe, maybe I might be a little biased towards Beatmaker, you know, and maybe I haven't sat a, not, a lot of time with the uh, IMP, IMPC Pro joint. Uh, but you know, I can remember, you know, what I'm saying when I started out on Beatmaker, you know, what I'm saying it was just like, you know, you got up and and went. You know what I'm saying? The MPC joint, you know what I'm saying? It's cool, has some glitches in it, but the flow of it just it, it just can't it just can't compete to the um to the beat maker joint, bro. And I I've I've tried iMachine. iMachine can't can't stand up to them. Uh they got another joint called Beat Beat Hawk, I think. Uh it, it, they just can't compete, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hands down. Yeah, I know. It's just something that's drawing me in. You're right about that. It's the same thing. Yeah, it just... Well, I go. I got iMachine. I got NPC. Right. And Beatmaker 2 just draws me right in. Right. It's right. it's a tool that I've been doing for five years. Yeah. I love everything they are doing with it. It's a great tool. It's nothing to be messed with. And it's, I tell a lot of producers when they want to start out, just maybe, oh, what equipment should I buy and this and that. And I tell them, just buy, just, just, if you want, you don't have an iPhone, or uh, 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 just buy an iPhone, 
and and get the um beat maker too. Trust me, you'll be satisfied after that. Right, right, right. Yeah, man. So, uh, I, before uh, I want to, I want to make sure I add this in too, man. You did the on the spot with Machine Masters, right? Oh yes, I did. Yeah. So, like, and I, and of course you used Beat Maker too, man. So, what was the response? You know, what I'm saying when dudes seen that you was flipping the mug off your iPad, bro, off your iPhone. Yeah, we had a lot of people. Yeah, we had a lot of people that day was in the studio because I was doing a lot of studio work and was waiting for the on the spot session. Uh -huh. And a lot of people was like shocked when they were seeing me do it. Even even my boy L, who uh -huh. directed the on the spot session, was like, "Wow, you do this on your um your iPad?" <laughs> and it's funny because everybody. On the on the spot sessions haven't done it yet. I'm the first to do it on my iPad. Right. And tell you, it's a great um, experience, and it should be coming out soon. It should be coming out within you know time. It's coming out real soon, and a lot of people are going to see it, and it's going to put Beat Maker Two on the forefront to show that wow, I could just do this, and everybody can say, well, I can do this too. Right, and I just wanted to introduce and do all that, and I'm very happy that it came out to a, a good process. Definitely right. shout out to producers Gear, Machine Masters, AG, L. They definitely looked out for me, and um, I was very happy because I wanted to get on the spot section for the longest. Yeah, and I just had to wait my turn, and my turn was now. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Shout out to the homie AG and my man Billy Blast over there, man. Those are my homies. Um, man, you know, yeah, and Billy Blast, yeah, yeah, definitely Billy Blast, man. Um, man, you know, the, the I guess the, one of the one of the main uh, I seen one of the mainstream producers, I seen Manny Fresh using that mug, he was in the studio with Most Def, and bruh, I was shocked because I know I know Manny, man is from this, he's from New Orleans, like like myself, and Manny, you know, he come from an SP 1200, you know, he come from Hallwest stu stuff, man. But the, so it was refreshing to see, you know, to see him using the um, using the Beatmaker Two app, bro. That's when I seen that, I said, "Man, these this company is on to something, bro, for real." <laughs> yeah, I seen that footage too. Yeah, I seen that footage too, and I was definitely flabbergasted when I saw him yeah. using it, and I was like, "Wow, this is this is this is what I'm talking about." Yeah, A lot man. Of people is getting on it and a lot of people is still is still doing it. I see a lot of people on IG. That's how me and you met. We met exactly. on IG because we had things in common and a lot of people that I have in common, they like, wow, I do the beat maker too and you doing it, you killing it, you right. know, and I wanna do what you how you doing it and it's a great honor for people to comment and saying that you you're making a lot of heat, you're doing a lot of things and you killing it. And I definitely give a salute to you because you just like doing what you have to do with it thank and you it's a bro. great feeling nah i appreciate that and likewise man i'm a definitely a fan of what you do with it too man and bro and and again you know this app is just not something a few people are using it man when you put in the hashtag beat maker too bro scores of people come up you know what i'm saying all over the world bro people is using this app man you know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, I've never I, I'm I've never even put in a hashtag IMPC Pro. Maybe I need to put it in just to see how many people are using this. But I know there are a <laughs> lot of people using Beat Maker 2, bro. You know what I'm saying? And uh again, if they listening, uh we would love we would appreciate if you guys would step your social media game up, say hello, post some more pics, give us some updates. Because you got gazillions of people that are waiting on part three, and people getting anxious, uh, and it's and, and it, it, what it is is it, almost like they know it's so good that you're willing to wait no matter what. That's how I almost that's how I feel about it. That's how I feel that they're kind of doing. They like, man, we know this joint so dope. You're gonna wait for us. <laughs> exactly, you're right about that. We've been waiting a long time, and man. I'm waiting, but I'm still banging my beat maker too, and I'm just waiting for these guys to, you know, just unleash it. You know, they said they're doing it, it's coming, you know, I just hope it's coming out this year, and don't yeah. wait for another two or three years for yeah. it. You know, I know it's a lot of stuff you have to do and stuff like that. You gotta, you gotta definitely connect with these producers and let people know when is it coming out. Exactly. Videos, you gotta let people know, you know, what's going on, so... You know, have these producers beta tested. 
yeah. and everything like that because I represent Beat Maker 2 to the fullest. Yeah, and man. they got to just let us know. Right, right, right. Yeah, definitely, man. So I'm hoping, man, you know, um, that in the month, in the weeks or months to come, man, you know, we'll start to hear some things, man. Uh, real quick, man, before we get out of there, man, out of here, man, is there anything else you want to say, man? Like what we you had already said that when dudes come up to you and ask you what to buy, you told them beat maker too. Is there anything else that you want to add to that, or you know, what would you, you know, what you want to add? No, I just um, want to add, like I said, a lot of you know new producers that don't know what to buy. And don't have enough money to buy all these um, big NPCs and things like that. Just get the beat maker too. Just start off with that, and um, trust me, you're gonna you know grow from it. And if you want to go do an NPC, you just go and grow from that. But just you know, twenty dollars is not nothing. I think it's not even twenty dollars no more. It's only ten dollars. Yeah. Uh-huh. Step up and do yeah. Step up to do that, and trust me, you will not be disappointed of what you're doing with the beat maker too. It's a great app. I recommend to a lot of people, you just work hard and do what you got to do and just um just do what you got to do and be blessed. Blessed by God and God is definitely going to um do what he has to do if yep. you work hard as well. Right. God has blessed me to do a lot of projects on this beat maker too and I am very happy from, you know, doing what I have to do and to a lot of people commenting what um everything is. It's right. a great experience, and it's a great thing for, you know, like I said, to do what I have to do. Yeah, man. Yeah, bro. But, man, Stan, I appreciate you coming on the show, man, for real, dog. You are listening to the show. Definitely, man. I definitely salute to you, Marv. Keep doing what you're doing, man. God bless you, man, and everything. And God bless to all the producers that's doing what they have to do. It doesn't matter if you working with Beatmaker 2, you working with Fruity Loops, you working with NPC. God bless all y'all guys that's doing their thing. And do what you have to do, and um, you'll have results. No doubt, man. Well, I appreciate you, Stan, man. And I thank you for, I, man. I, I'm, I, I lost. I was looking at something online. I actually, I'm looking at, I'm looking at uh, the Facebook page. Uh, on, I'm looking at the Beatmaker page, and I, and dudes, they like, man, where is BM3? BM3. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm telling you, man, they got a joke of fiending, man. Um, they got a better fiending, man. But again, somebody Stan- got to have a number or something to the company, man. Somebody got to have something. I mean, they got to have something. <laughs> yeah. All right, somebody yeah. got to give us a number so we can call and, and get some requests. Or, I'm you telling know, you, dog. Get- like dudes, like dudes, pull, dudes are pulling out their hair for this B make for this BM three, bro. That mug, that look, all this anticipation, that mug better be dope for real. <laughs> exactly, I, I I know it's gonna be. So I I mean I know it is. Yeah, B maker two is crazy. Yeah, maker three is gonna be crazy. I guess they have to you know put a lot of kinks out of it, and they got to do a lot of things to before it comes out. Before yeah, man. iPhone, um, the Apple definitely approves. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, man. Well, Stan, I appreciate you being on the show, bro. Appreciate you too, brother. I definitely appreciate you always, man. God bless you, man. Anything you're doing, man. You're doing good, bro. You're doing what you got to do, and you're doing definitely the, the thing, man, and, and I salute you for that. Oh, man, I appreciate it, man. Likewise, bro, you keep keep burning the block with the, with the beat maker too, man. Got you, man. No God doubt. Bless. And you've been listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast, where we talk about nothing but producer stuff, you dig? You are listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast, the podcast that's strictly for producers. This show has been brought to you by SacredApparel.net. The homie Twink and the crew over there are always coming up with the latest fashions, the tees, the hoodies, and the hats. Right now, they got a store-wide sale going on, everything 20% off. This would be a great time to pick up a hoodie. Everything 40% off, regular price $40, now they $25 a hoodie. And the dope thing that I like about Sacred Apparel, they got tees for the big home. So go check them out, sacredapparel.net, a clothing store for the ladies and gentlemen that choose to live sacred. You dig? 
Are you a producer or artist that is lacking confidence in your music? Well, now you can get your music critiqued by Industry Vet. The Amazing Beat Critique by Producer Vet, The Amazing SB. Get your one-on-one video consultation via Skype or FaceTime. Submit three beats or three songs, and he will provide feedback and any questions that you may have pertaining to your music or the industry. So contact The Amazing SB today at AmazingBeatCritique at gmail.com. Again, that's AmazingBeatCritique at gmail.com. Contact him and book your session today. Hey yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy Swift, aka Chef Boyard Swift, aka Dr. Swigglesworth. You are now listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast with my man Mar from Mo Beats. You know what I'm saying? If you listen to any other podcast, you're slacking. Producers, step your game up by learning from the best. You dig? Holla at your boy. Peace. Yo, yo, you're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast, man. I am your boy, Mark from Beats, man. I hope you enjoyed the podcast. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, again, man, appreciate my homeboy, Stan the Man, being on the show today, man. Uh, great show, man. Great guy to know. Uh, he is uh, an avid user of the program. Uh, like I say, man, he did the on the spot uh, for MachineMasters.com uh, Just uh, way aired last last week uh, You can go to MachineMasters.com And you can see the video up there Stand the man on the spot With Beatmaker 2 And Excuse me, had to clear my throat um, Like I say man You know the program, the app The well The video Uh I guess I guess it had it had it just had to take time to warm up to people, man. Because I think it was just the the culture shock that why is this dude making beats on his iPad? So I think the idea had to just resonate and sit in people's mind to be like, well, why not make beats on your iPad? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why not make um music on your iPad, you know what I'm saying, and for people to see um, what you can do with this program, man, it's mind-blowing, so uh, it has picked up a lot of conversation, uh, it's building a community on its own, uh, I'm a part of a closed group, a beat maker closed group uh, on Facebook uh, that I'm a part of, man, and everything is uh, pertaining to um, music. I mean, beat make it too. Matter of fact, let me shout them out right now. Uh, it's the uh, Into It uh, Beat Maker uh, product, Beat Make It Two production only. Uh, the home in Matthews Rondoros. Uh, I guess he's tuning into it and checked it out. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, it is a community. People are actually. Uh, intrigued and interested and are using this uh, this program you know and just not for you know something to pass the time but people are producing full fledged songs on this app so if you got an iPad if you got an iPhone or an iPod man check the program out if, you, if you're a producer man uh, I I, I, I highly recommend it. So check that mug out. It's Beat Maker Two. It's only like ten bucks online. Actually, if you go over to, <clears throat> I'm sorry, if you go over to uh, Machine Masters Instagram, uh, they are giving away ten. They're giving away ten of. Uh, 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 well, let me start off by saying this. Beatmaker and Machine Master have partnered up to give out 10, um, giving away, well, they're giving away, they're giving out the app to 10 people, they got 10 uh, software apps that they're giving away, so go head over to Machine Masters, IG or MachineMasters.com and look into it, uh, it they got some simple instructions that you can do, uh, I'm, I'm not sure when they're going to actually do the giveaway, but Hey man, it's worth the shot. I mean, it's ten dollars that you can save in your pocket. So head over to Machine Masters IG 
check it out. Uh, Beatmaker and uh, Machine Masters has teamed up, and they're giving away ten uh, to ten, um, ten ten producers. Uh, they're giving a pro- they're giving it away. You know what I'm saying? If they wasn't giving it away, I still highly recommend uh, that you go pick it up. Uh, it is a great app, and uh, I just can't stop talking about it. I love the program. Uh, so yeah, man. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that interview with my homeboy Stan. Man, I appreciate him again for coming on the show. Wish him the best of success in all of the endeavors that he's doing. And uh, well, you're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast, where we talk about nothing but producer stuff. You're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast, where we talk about nothing but producer stuff. You dig? Listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast, the podcast that's strictly for producers. Yes, sir. You're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast. I'm your boy, Mar from Obese, man. Uh, this has been a good show, man. I really enjoyed uh, talking to my guy, Stan, the man. Uh, yeah. Uh, next week, man, I'm going to, at least I'm praying to have um, the Detroit uh, winner of the I Standard uh, Showcase Um my homeboy Chop Hits. I'm hoping to have him on the show next week uh, to just talk about the whole experience over at I Stand in Detroit. Uh, he took home the W. Uh, he's a, a fellow Christian uh, uh, producer as well, man. And I was really excited uh, to see that he took home the win, man. God is good. Uh, when I talked to him on the phone, he said he was nervous. Uh, <laughs> Which you know is 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 normal to be no uh to be nervous when you're in a crowd or in a in a the midst of a whole bunch of uh, people and producers and stuff. So, but yeah, man, uh, he was able to bring home the win, man. So uh, we're looking to have him on the show next week. Shout out to the homie J Hatch, the music mogul over at um, I Stand It. My homeboy SB, the amazing SB. Shout out to him. Uh, our standard brand media rep uh, over there, man. He be doing his thing, uh, trying to keep information alive, keep it going on the iPad. I mean, on on Instagram. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna have my homeboy uh, Chop Hits on the show next week, Lois Welling. Uh, and the week after next week, man, I'm just telling y'all everything. I'm gonna have my boy Justin Williams. On the show, and we're going to be talking about Reasons, a program that I initially started out on coming into the uh, software world from hardware to software. Uh, my homeboy, Levester White, he gave me my first copy of Reasons 3. Yeah, when I was running, when I had a, uh, a, a PC in my PC days. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we're going to have my homeboy uh, The week after next week I'm going to have my homeboy Justin Williams on the show And we're going to be talking about reasons, man He's literally And uh, he's a I want to I want to be correct when I say this He's a, pro, uh, a, a propeller head reasons ambassador Like this dude gets like uh, <laughs> uh, Endorsements 
from reasons. Uh, and I remember when I first started out, he was like, well, let me just give you the rundown real quick before we close. When I first met Justin, I met him back in New Orleans, right? He was a hungry producer, just starting out. A friend of mine introduced me to him, uh, my homeboy Oracle. Uh, shout out to uh, the or- was uh, my homeboy Lennon. Shout out to Oracle. Uh, he introduced. He was like, "Yo, Marv, man, would you meet my guy, Justin? He's a dope producer, just starting out in the game. Check him out." So we went in my uh, in the car in my car, and he had his iPod, and he had his, he had his look. If he had his jack, the headphone jack, and everything, he was prepared. Right, let me hear the stuff, and I was like, "Yo, man, this little young dude, he uh, he making some noise. He tight." So you know, uh, we eventually just built a relationship, man. You know, I really, he was younger than me, so uh, you know, we would always just be on the phone, man. And I was real heavy at the time using reasons, so I would just be, we'd be on the phone, man. I'd be giving him all my little pointers and stuff that I knew. And he was just a student of the game. He was just sucking up the knowledge. And then, like, years later, this dude turns into a reasons uh, fanatic. Just like I am a beat maker too fanatic, he's like, he, he knows the ins and the outs and the outsides and the insides, the deep down things about this program man like he has really uh learned and became a student of propeller head reasons so what he started doing he started doing these videos and stuff and he would always tag him in and i, I just uh reasons just paid attention <clears throat> and seeing that he was making some noise he was making the type of music that reasons that the software wasn't really made for because uh, when you when you think about Propeller Head, uh, just looking at the program when you open it up, it's already kind of like intimidating because you're trying to figure out what in the heck is all these rack mounts, all these racks and these different things, the NNXT and NNN19 and your Thor. You're trying to figure it out, but it was really made for sound design. At the same time, made for production. What Justin is doing with reasons these days, he has took it to a whole nother level. And the level has been taken there so high that he got these dudes' attention all the way from out in Sweden. <laughs> Cause that's that's where the program, that's where the people that made the program are from there, out in Sweden somewhere. He was able to get these people attention and they connected with him and like and now he's like an ambassador uh He's like an ambassador for the software. I mean, I think they give him all the free stuff. Like, I think he just got an open account where he just, I want the, <laughs> I, I think. Uh, but yeah, man, he is very dope. So we're going to have him on the show, Laws willing, the week after next week. And we're just going to talk about reasons and how he started out on it and all that good stuff, man. Uh, so yeah, we got a couple of sh- good shows lined it up. I uh, want to thank everyone for listening, tuning in to the show, man. All of the new people, man. I want to shout out my homeboy Ray uh, from Sound H uh, Beach Production for just helping, you know, pushing the word, keeping the word going. Uh, my homeboy Anthony Clary from Rock House. Uh, from just you know retweeting the show, man. Uh, most of the, and and without and last but definitely not least, man. I want to make sure I shout out my homeboy Omar uh, for just doing his thing. Uh, he's the uh, he's the uh, chief. Well, he's the head editor right up under me uh, over at MarfamoBeats.com, and he's the one that keep Marfamo Beats. Uh, alive as a website uh, I want to make sure I let you guys know That he just dropped the beat tape today And you can go get it exclusively Over at MarfaMobeast.com Man, go over and support my homeboy Oh, uh, he put together a dope beat tape He been sent it to me uh, Maybe, I want to say about a month out But Saturday, I was able to just sit down And listen uh, Thoroughly listen to it And, um He's a student of the game, man. He is a great producer. I think you would definitely enjoy the instrumental. So go check him out. You can go pick up my homeboy Omar's beat tape 
over at marformobeast.com. You, I guess that's the only place you can go get it. So you got to go to the website to go get it. And um, if that's it, I am out of here. I think I said everything that needs to be said and did everything that I need to do on today. Again, I appreciate you guys for just uh, sitting there with us, man, checking us out every week. Uh, shout out to the listeners that check us out, uh, you know, faithfully every week, man. Uh, it's just a blessing to see the the incline of, you know, when I, I go back and look at the demographics of how many people are checking out the show. Uh, it's, 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 I'm going to just say this. It is all God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, for people to even want to pay attention to what we're doing because I'm not like no professional professional podcast dude. I just love making beats and love talking about it. You know, and uh, thank God that uh, we got a, 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 a gang of people that like to uh, talk about it as well, man. So I hope you're really enjoying the show uh, and all that good stuff, man. Tell a friend. Tell somebody. That has been the biggest marketing for us people telling people about the show you know what i'm saying so tell people man we're gonna have some real affirmative stuff you know like i say on the show and uh yeah man thank you guys thank you thank you thank you and i guess that's it you've been listening to the show lab producer podcast where we talk about nothing but producer stuff you did until next tuesday peace You're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast, where we talk about nothing but producer stuff. You dig? This show has been brought to you by sacredapparel.net. The homie Twink and the crew over there are always coming up with the latest fashions, the tees, the hoodies, and the hats. Right now, they got a store-wide sale going on, everything 20% off. This would be a great time to pick up a hoodie. Everything 40% off. Regular price $40, now they $25 a hoodie. And the dope thing that I like about Sacred Apparel, they got tees for the big homes. So go check them out, sacredapparel.net. A clothing store for the ladies and gentlemen that choose to live sacred. You dig? Are you a producer or artist that is lacking confidence in your music? Well, now you can get your music critiqued by Industry Vet. The Amazing Beat Critique by Producer Vet, The Amazing SB. Get your one-on-one video consultation via Skype or FaceTime. Submit three beats or three songs, and he will provide feedback and any questions that you may have pertaining to your music or the industry. So contact The Amazing SB today at AmazingBeatCritique at gmail.com. Again, that's AmazingBeatCritique at gmail.com. Contact him and book your session today. Yo, what's good? This is your boy, Young Joshua. And right now, you're listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast with my homie, Marv. Keep it locked. Are you working on a project and you're looking for your next banger? Well, check out the team over at SoundHBeats.com. Looking for a variety of production? Well, the homie Ray and the crew over there can take care of all of your musical needs. They got exclusives, leases, and they got a clearance sale over there. Are your artists on a budget? Well, now they are offering bulk discount prices on their lease beats. So what you waiting on? Head on over to SoundHBeats.com. And pick up your banger today. Christian music, all heart. Soundhbeats.com. Yo, this is Cephas. And you're listening to the Show Lab producer podcast with my homie Marv. Keep it locked. Are you looking for those heavy trap bangers? Then you definitely need to holler at Rock House Music, specialized and known for those bending 808. You may have heard his recent work on K Drama's The Eight Out. So if that's the sound you're going for, Holler at my man Anthony over at Rock House Music. You can check out his beats on SoundCloud at www.soundcloud.com slash I am Rock House. Again, that's www.soundcloud.com slash I am Rock House. Rock House Music, home of the bending 808s. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are listening to the Show Lab Producer Podcast, the podcast that's strictly for producers.